Hello and welcome to E Magazine. I'm your host Brenda Nyemichaba. And of course, I'm Tasha Agunda. Welcome to this very episode of E Magazine. Kama kawaida, I'm going to take you through E Review. All right, so some good news for Alia fans. Now, the late music star, Alia's music, is said to find its way to streaming, streaming platforms, I beg your pardon. And her estate indicated that it was working hard to get her music on the platform, uh, platforms, I beg your pardon. This comes after fans of the singer have been asking for her music to be available on Spotify, Apple ID, uh, Apple Music, I beg your pardon, and the rest. However, a representative posted a statement on her Twitter account saying, "We hear and see you while we we hear and see you while we share the same sentiments and desire to have Alia's music released. We must acknowledge that these matters are not within our control and unfortunately take time." Now, her state also announced that the debut of her official YouTube channel this year she will be debuting her youtube channel even though it's indefinite we expect to see chances of her album one in a million and her self-titled 2001 album online pretty soon i'm so excited about this i'm also so excited i mean alia is one of the best mm. of the best of course mm -hmm. and you know i mean how many years down the line we're still we still want to hear so much about yes, Alia. but we're actually celebrating her 42nd birthday 42nd, 42nd birthday, birthday on saturday this past weekend right, yes this past weekend was it on thursday or on saturday it was on, it was on the weekend it was on it saturday was on weekend. It and happy saturday. birthday to you alia but let's just get down to business mm -hmm. i mean guys are talking uh, i mean her estate doesn't want to do anything rush rush it i mean rush it because um they are looking at you know securing her legacy and securing the bag at the same time and of course that's why they have you know like mm -hmm. put up a youtube channel so what do you think i mean is it about time mm -hmm. and why are you know like uh the um the social media platforms taking so much time to actually mm -hmm. you know pull this through well it definitely is about time like mm -hmm. i i know till today i personally fun fact about me i go to alia's youtube channel and listen to her um her music listen to all my favorite songs so yes it is about about time and when you yeah. go on alia's youtube channel right now you see how many likes how many views her videos have till this date and it's crazy how when someone is actually not here like yes. on after that list, they'll still be able to make money from yeah. their music from just the legacy they've left behind yeah. that's one thing Aaliyah was just like she went too soon yeah so right now i feel like Aaliyah will be still rocking music like ah yeah. it's so sad and but i I'm guess that's what they're this. going for by doing uh, by doing this i mean we've seen tupac yes tupac is another person yeah <laughs> so, some some great artists prince Michael Jackson, even his clothes as of now, you yes, know, like his red yes. jacket, the, his red leather jacket mm -hmm. that he wore to his, you know, bad album. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, it's still, it's like, it's, the, it, it costs a lot of money. Yes. I mean, just to, to, to even sell that, that jacket. So I think that actually maybe it should be a good idea mm -hmm. for them. And to it's do always that. nice to keep the spirit of, you know, such amazing musicians like Aaliyah, Michael Jackson and so many yeah. more, just to keep it alive. And through that is through their music and we're able to access their music, you know, through their YouTube channel, any other streaming platforms. Yeah. It's amazing. It's yeah. good. It's such a good thing to do. Even better to secure the bag, you know, secure. Yes. Yeah. Make sure yes. that, you know, like their people, as well. yeah, their family that is, you know, left behind could actually also, you know, earn something from definitely yeah it's it's such a good thing that actually spotify and apple music and we talked about um, instagram mm -hmm, monetizing mm -hmm. artists yes, yes. i mean it's we, we are we're evolving don't you think 100 percent. we are i feel like we've been past that place like, <laughs> like we are moving in such a place in uh, we're such moving forward in such a a different space when it comes to the social media platforms yeah. itself and just giving you know artists even the ones who are not here with us today that yeah. opportunity to still 
make money to still stream their music um you know moving forward i mean who knew anyway let's move on movie actor and entertainer dwayne johnson dwayne the rock johnson shares his teaser for his biographical sitcom young rock now dwayne's life story will be hitting the small screens and he took instagram over this, the weekend to share the big news via a trailer now where he started the release where he he shared i beg your pardon the release date now the end NBC sitcom chronicles journey his journey to becoming a Hollywood a lister now the first look uh, the first look begins with a series of Johnson's action scenes basically the rocks true life story from from then till now I can't wait for this me too I feel like we have watched the rock grow from you know being in wrestling I know yes. we watched wrestling growing up and I was like yes the rock to him transitioning into being a, an actor in starring in comedy movies some action movies as well as some you know some of the super serious mm. storyline movies so I'm super excited to do this I've seen it's like a trend with a lot of comedians yes, and actors yes. like, Kevin Hart Kevin Hart has, has his own Netflix yes. if you haven't watched it please watch it it's already streaming but on this Netflix. one's going to be on HBO I guess it's gonna or be is it on CBC I'm not quite sure but I think you can CBC. find out for you and let you guys know but yes it's like a trend just once I think it was the pandemic NBC the is going to be on NBC the pandemic got actors thinking about sharing their yeah. biography to their fans which is nice it makes yeah. us relate to them and get to know where they started to where they are today so yes this is super exciting news for yeah the rock. and let's just look back to where we're coming from kenya i wish they could actually you know <laughs> like you know invest in this kind of things the other day we were just here talking about you know dwayne the rock johnson with his tequila and i mean he's made an apart from being an a-lister he has taken that platform yeah. and you know just built a whole empire for himself yeah so i don't know what is it that we're lacking in the kenyan context that we cannot do these kind of things i, I mean we're like like 40 years <laughs> behind yes you know 100%. Behind i feel like I, when we're looking at the kenyan film industry as a whole like when you know people have interviewed who are in that space just say they don't have that support they should yes. get from different you know um from government from the government itself yes or just generally like independent um bodies that could help them push themselves further as a film industry but hey we made the step to get onto streaming platforms yeah we are on netflix we have a show going on hbo that we talked about last week yeah. so we are definitely steps behind like way behind we're steps behind but it. i feel like we're making some leeway let's just mm. hope 2021 we make way more leeway because our actors and producers and film directors need to get in a different different space before they actually get into a space where we want to know about their biography yeah. you know what i mean yeah no one is just gonna wake up and yeah. give us their biography we really yes. don't yes i mean you know look at yeah. it yeah yeah i mean as of now i wouldn't want to boggy <laughs> boggy how do you say that don't boggy <laughs> i don't think they're ready I need for to this show very soon uh, <laughs> yeah for sure for sure anyway brenda is saying all is not lost for kenyan artists but let's move on we're moving on to berlin european film market uh, has revealed details of its plans for its first off First all, uh, first all digital market to be held from the 1st of March 2021. Now the 2021 EFM will be held alongside the online only version of the 71st Berlin International Film Festival that will hold a separate in-person event in Berlin in June. Now the market will focus on virtual sc uh, screenings similar to those seen at last year's virtual Canes and virtual American film markets events. Now, the Berlin, uh, dis Berlin decided to move its film market online this year amid ongoing safety concerns surrounding the coronavirus pandemic. Mm -hmm. All right. So let's just talk about this for a bit. I mean, um, the air always started with a Keynes festival mm -hmm, yes. and you know guys would go to France is it Keynes is in France right yes it's France. and you know they would, they would buy off screens mm -hmm. and all those things and it was always such a, a huge festival it's one of the hugest festivals 100%, in yes. film now we are coming to this point where we're now doing virtual and they you know they're cutting off they're cutting off time mm -hmm, and everything mm -hmm. do you think it's gonna work um, it has to work, Sasha. <laughs> They've given us two hours. I, I think it's going it to. I don't know. Personally speaking, I feel like it's something they have planned throughout of last year. Yeah. So definitely, they are gonna make it work. It's gonna fall through. I'm excited to see how a film market works. That's right. quite new. online. Not even online. A film market. You know, it's like usually how they go, and it's like a. What market do we have? You know that one in K1. 
Yes, I know. Yeah, and okay, people when... gather around and they watch films and you auction them. You wow. can buy, yeah, you buy the films. That's what the King Festival is about. I think like that's such about. a smart way of, you know, for these films that were not able to make money throughout 2020 because of the pandemic yeah. to start off the year on a positive note. All right, let's move on to this last topic of the day. Viacom CBS has become the latest and largest entity in entertainment to go to court against an insurer to recover losses in the wake of the COVID-19 pandemic. Last week, the company filed a breach of contract suing against Grissat Divine greatest divine insurance company according to the complaint viacom cbs has a television production portfolio policy which provides 30 million dollars of cast coverage another 10 million of extra expense coverage another 10 million of imminent peril coverage 1 million in civil authority coverage and another 1 million in ingress egress coverage oh my god i've been waiting to talk about this story for a very long time now it seems as though insurers are now feeling the pain and the pinch of the pandemic when it comes to entertainment and uh, viacom you know is saying that we 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 are insured to you we've lost so much during the uh, pandemic you have to pay us back mm -hmm. then you know the insurance company is saying from all that money they have stated they're only going to give one wow. like one thing i would not mind living in america is because of all this coverage. i'm telling you for what? <laughs> Imagine. When some of our creators were facing a lot of heartache and not being helped by the government in Imagine. general during this pandemic, you have coverage. You have coverage. You have cast coverage. And coverage. And you that know is the 10 million US dollars? It's over 10 million because wow. it's 30, 10, 1 million, 1 million. But the insurance companies obviously, you know, like trying to, you know, get back at them mm -hmm. in obviously in court proceedings. And they're saying, I mean, uh, you uh, the CBS or um, no Viacom um, you know hosts the Teen Choice Awards mm -hmm. and of course it was online so I mean the insurer is saying we did our part you guys had the Teen Choices Award it was digital what money do you want mm -hmm. then the guys say that it was digital the Viacom is saying that it was digital but they did spend much more money mm -hmm. than it would be if it was a live concert so I don't know how it's going to happen I mean I don't know who's on the wrong who's on the right I, what is trying to get interesting case right there. I actually yeah. have to sit down and look at it and just try to get it. It was a very, very interesting case. I, I mean, if they are paying some fees towards the insurance, they should have the right to get paid the money. And this is something that I realized about, uh, you know, like insurance. I mean, they cut off mm -hmm. a lot of your money or, you know, they usually have, they make you wait for such a long time. I mean, from all that money, almost $60 million, uh, dollars, yeah. I mean, they're only telling you that we're only going to give you $1 million. What? That's crazy. I'm telling you. They, they definitely need to go to court and they this case Obviously, <laughs> they're in court. And let's see uh, what's going to happen throughout the week. We're going to keep you posted. I'm going to leave you in the hands of Brenda. But before I do, did you follow us on all our social media platforms catch us on metropole tv ke on all social media platforms you know where to catch me instagram i underscore am underscore tamasha and that's on period <laughs> thank you so much atasha always keeping us updated what's been happening on the entertainment scene and now guys it's time for us to move on to the next thing next up we have celeb profile
That right there was Select Profile. We're going to take a short commercial break, but when we come back, we have e talk. Let me tell you, I have an interesting guest joining me as we look at the film industry globally, not just in Kenya, and how it's dealing with the post pandemic. We'll see you guys right after this break. <laughs> 